Today I'm building a pumpkin patch in Bloxburg. And this was suggested by Swiftiness. And I love your profile picture, by the way. Gotta love a bit of Taylor Swift. If you want to choose a future video, all you have to do is subscribe and leave your idea down below. And it's going to be called Trick Reese's Trick or Treat Haunted Halloween Patch of Pickles. <laughs> so this is the layout we have got going. All I'm going to say is we've got a maze here, a windmill here, slide, 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 stage and restaurant. I want to start off with the maze. Do you know why? Because it's amazing. <laughs> No, seriously, I've been dying to use this corn fence for yonks. Look, it has real corn on it. It's kind of like that wall out of Willy Wonka where they all start licking it. I mean, if I saw a wall with food, I'd be licking it too. So the layout's already done for us. All we have to do is put this corn on it. Oh, that's why they call it a cornfield maze. I get it now. And I kind of want the floor to be maybe bricks. Just, oh my gosh, we need to work out what the prize is going to be. I know exactly what to put, guys. This might be a little bit like excessive, but I'm going to put a Fabergé egg. They're so expensive. But you know what? That's what you get on the True Reese's channel, okay? It's gonna be protected by the Macbeth witches. Babble, babble, toil and trouble. We, of course, just need to add little trinkets around the rest of the maze. This is actually so cute. Why has he got more style than me? Although you have got to admit, guys, look at how good I look. I look like Miss Pentangle. Finally, just to spice this maze up, I'm gonna add a couple of traps. So over here, we're gonna have a trap and over here, we're gonna have a trap. For your daily dose of building hacks here, I'm pretty sure everyone knows how to do this, but you get a couple carpet and then you've got to be make it on the small grid make sure it's on the small grid okay make sure it is you resize it to like precisely fit oh my god i would actually not be able to tell that's there and just to be extra mean we're gonna make it that godforsaken texture when you see this you just know it's something suspicious is going on it's suspicious. i have such a good idea i'm gonna have you land on a bunch of like spikes uh, which kind of look like zits being popped midair as the tip of the iceberg we're gonna put jail bars next up is gonna be the windmill. I'm actually kind of scared. Like, I don't really know what a windmill looks like. What does a windmill look like? <gasps> I'm doing this. I'm doing that right now. Looks like we're going to kind of have to get a bit custard. This looks like a two-layer birthday cake. <laughs> the roof is kind of like a nice dome, though. Wow. This looks so much like a windmill. Bombastic side eye. The hard bit is going to be creating those blooming scissors that come off the front. To make them, we're going to go on to ground level and make, a, like, quite a thin one of these. But long and chunky. I like them chunky. Then we'll outline it with the big dadders and then the medium dadders can go and we'll make like a crisscross. Crisscross! Oh, I love the macarena. <laughs> We've got to put it at a 90 degree angle. Oh. Um, yeah, uh, anyway, just give me a minute to fix this. Um, ciao. Anyway, so... Oh, baby, look at my windmill. Honestly, just doing fancy roofs does wonders. It's nice. It's different, it's different. It's unusual. And then to finish it off, I think I'm just going to make Tudor pattern on the wall. We can literally just use pillars. We'll place the pillars, the thin pillars, and the door. I love it. I love it. I love it. Now we should probably actually build something inside of here. So I think, honestly, cobblestone floor is kind of like a look. I feel like that this is the kind of place to have, like, spiral stairs. Okay, Kardashian mansion. <laughs> And actually, we're not going to be able to get in here because in here is going to be Daisy. And if you don't know who Daisy is, Moo! <laughs> well, you do now. Oh my gosh, Daisy had a baby. Hi. Basically, she is going to be supplying us with all the milk. But there is buckets which we can actually put underneath her. I feel like this is actually an activity at a farm. Oh, I've milked a cow once. And perhaps up the top here, the whole point can be like to get a really nice view. I like the view. Wow, this view is to die for. More like rather die than look at it. And you guys know me, my chandelier addiction runs strong. So I will be putting a chandelier. And I love the simple elegance of this. It actually looks really cute. And it's just Daisy's house, really. By the way, I'm going to be perfecting everything towards the end, adding fences and pathways and stuff. I just like to get the, the main bits done. Speaking or next we have the slides. It looks like we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six. I actually don't want that. I want one big one. So in order to get up to the top, we've got to actually work out how to by using our little <laughs> measuring thing over here. Okay, let's just get that exactly right. We'll have a bunch of these. And I feel like we haven't really been embracing the Halloween colours much yet. I want to decorate my real life house for Halloween, but my mum won't let me. Because when I was like 11, I used to like rip up bin bags and then I'd like dangle them over every doorway and she gets so mad. Disgusting! Did anybody else like watch tutorials and try to make homemade decoration? It was just so fun, wasn't it? We're going to have ladders going up the top. I would 
dad stares, but nah. Cut to some old woman, like, clinging on for dear life. Help me! Sadly, the only, well, not really sadly, but the fact of the matter is the only slides we have are water slides. But what's sad is I want this to be a normal slide, not a water slide. And also, I wanted it to be thick, you know, like a, a demon drop slide. Oh, gosh. That is a demon death trap. Maybe we should make it go a bit straighter. 30,000? 30, 30,000? You know what? I've learned to deal with Bloxburg's extortion. If we put them all next to each other, it kind of looks like the inside of the human body. And as always, we're going to put like a little lifeguard up here. Who shall we pick today? We have so many choices. Today I chose Kylie Jenner. It's so sad because I couldn't find one without a background. So now it looks like she's just in a cloud of black smoke. But actually, we can kind of disguise this with like a fog machine. And she's like, my name is Kylie Jenner. My name is Kylie Jenner. I suppose even though it's not a pool, we probably still need like a lifeguard tower. Also, a handful of you have been telling me to add pillars under the slide, make them look supported. So you know, your wish is my command. Your wish is my command. And I don't know what this is meant to land in. They normally end where you just like go onto the floor. I'm not even joking. And as usual, I've literally just completely skipped the entryway. I have a weird thing for doing this. So I've got like a little ticket booth either side. I do like doing that. Also, I've just Realize it's not even titanium, it's titan. So I want to kind of like steal the windmill's roof, not gonna lie, it looks sick. Really making me tired. I'm a bit tired, actually. I'm a tired. Is it just me or do you guys even get a little bit sleepy when you build for a long time? Nobody's gonna be going in anywhere if we don't add a fence gate. And nobody's gonna be checking in if we don't add some drive through window. I feel like this chandelier, I would never normally use this. It's the most ugly thing on planet Earth. Sorry if you have it. Like the shape of it is really giving, like haunted. So I'm going to add it for that reason. This year, guys, I'm going to my first scare fest and I'm actually terrified. If you don't know what they are, they're basically like haunted farms. People like workers are dressed up to scare you, but it's like proper realistic. Not going to lie, I am terrified, but there's something so thrilling about being scared at Halloween. Finally, though, in these little rooms, I'm adding these haunted little candle stands. I don't know why fireplaces are just so scary and chilling as well. Just before we move on, I've got the Bloxburg builder urge just to like add fences on a roof. I wanted, I wanted, I wanted, I got it. So we really don't have that much left to do. The next thing is the stage. And this is where like the Halloween shows are going to be put on. Come to Halloween Fest. And you can just imagine the music they have playing. It's sort of like that off kilter carnival music, which is like. <laughs> and this isn't going to be a live action performance. I'm literally just going to put a big dada projector up here. And I might actually make it like a proper outdoor movie theater with like the seats and all. This way we can kind of get away with putting popcorn machines at the back. That is what I truly want in all of my builds, just food. And bouncy, that's how I prefer it. And I would add some sweet bowls, but I don't appear to have any. Oh, I do. We can add some sweet. Oh, sorry, a candy cauldron. Do you guys call them candy or do you call it sweets? Because people in America are like, what the hell are sweets? What is that? But that's what we call candy. Like we never say candy. And there's just so many funny things like that. In America, you call this the sidewalk. But in England, it's the pavement. But finally, the last thing we have to do is the little restaurant. So it's really not even gonna be a restaurant it's more of gonna be like a spooky shack and guys this is giving me inspiration to like decorate my mansion for halloween oh my god let me know if you want me to do that i would so do it we'll also add this island so it's more of like a bar with of course some halloween treats oh my gosh <laughs> this pumpkin looks like i spice with that hat no offense i spice i love her guys but her hair is just too iconic but go me i've actually made this a very cohesive build i think making the roofs also similar really helps to tie it in for the tables i'm going to use the square ones if i can find them and we're gonna make it kind of like a date because what is more vibey than like an autumnal fall halloween date the answer my friends is nothing but that is the last main part done so obviously it's looking very bland where's the flavor but this is where we add all of the pathways and stuff and it really ties the build together personally i want the pathways all to be brick in between some of the pathways to give it a little bit more segregation we're obviously going to put pumpkins and stuff i've never understood the house o lantern why would you carve a house onto a pumpkin my favorite thing to carve is like one with really tiny teeth another good gap filler is just using tables that you've already used. 
use. Also at the front here, we can kind of have just like a little graveyard with fog machines. And my final little money saving hack is, rather than spending a fortune on getting pine trees, check your inventory and see if you have any bare Christmas trees. This is absolutely free of charge. Loads of people have these without even realizing. And since it's Halloween, we're obviously making them those iconic autumnal colors. So chickens, the park is completed. As usual, this is an overview. Honestly, I am so proud of this. It looks so spooky. I'm scared. But enough of that. Let's go in, shall we? First thing we have is the check-in, which is such like a cozy vibe itself, apart from this glitching. That's the scariest thing about this build. And then we would say, hello, it's me. And then you get your little ticket and you can make it through the gate. So as we saw, there's plenty to do here. Since we're right at the maze, we might as well give it a shot. And I am too scared of mazes in real life, guys. I could not do one. Like the thought of getting stuck in one is scary as hell. But okay, let's see if I can remember where it, where it is. Okay. Yeah! I win the golden egg. I swear that's what they win in Willy Wonka. I've got a golden ticket. And oh my gosh, the view from in here actually looks so vibey of like the windmill. But yeah, that is the maze. If we go to the right, oh my gosh, we have the demon drop slide. So there's a bit of seating under here, you know, in case you want to bring your food over here and like stare at the graveyard filled with rotting bodies. Or you can make your way around to the ladders and this takes you up to Kylie Jenner. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Help me! Definitely broke a few limbs there. Meant to slide gracefully, not plummet to the ground. But also while we're here, we have the windmill, which I'm sorry, this is definitely like one of my favorite parts. Hi, Daisy. She is our cow. And it actually looks really grand in here, even though it's like two things. So if you want to, you can like come in here and milk Daisy. Moo! Or you can go up and look at the great, <laughs> great view, guys, of these two trees. But it's still a beautiful room. And now if we go over to sort of the left wing of the pumpkin patch, forgot what it's called there. We have Cineworld. Yes, we brought the cinema outside, guys. Because what's more vibey than like feeling the Halloween wind on your face when watching the scary news? The prices at Bloxy Burgers are the scariest thing here. Finally, we have the cafe. So you go up and you order from here and then you go and sit and eat like maybe some Halloween donuts. I don't know what Halloween food they actually have, but I'm so excited to see all the new food that they have with the update. And if you're wondering, the value of this is $453,000. Subscribe to the channel if you like the video. Thank you so much for watching this and I'll see you in the next one.